Music is the key to a character or to unlock your connection to story. And I was riveted by the portrait of a woman unraveling, but I was fascinated by the script on a rhythmic level. It had such a propulsive quality to it. So I think I connected probably first and foremost on an intellectual level. I leant into it just to try and speak Lydia Tarr's language. I think the demands of the role, but also the demands of the story that it would ultimately make on an audience, I thought I really wanted to be part of that conversation. You know, as much homework as I did for the script, uh, she ingested that script, she memorized it, soup to nuts. So by the time we started shooting together, she knew everything that I knew, and she'd gone beyond what I knew. There's so many interwoven elements and an audience didn't need to know all of these terms because right. they got the sense of the world. It was an atmosphere building. The world building was so complete. We were finding things together that were, um, were far beyond the material. She has an incredible sensitivity to sound and that has been diagnosed as a, as a thing called misophonia. You can fly into a rage if someone across the room even pulls out a chip packet because you know they're about to make that noise. So a lot of conductors that I've spoken to have that in one form or another. It was really important that we feel as if we're immersed in this character's process. It's a process film, it's a rehearsal film. The difficult thing for me, I think, was to find moments to allow an audience in so they can connect with the experience. Her brain is moving at 100 miles a minute. I mean, to, to have all of those thoughts, but then also to be incredibly conscious of the audience. It's been an uphill paddle to, to get to conduct those big pieces and you don't know what you're capable of, really, until you do, because you can't practice that stuff at home. You, you know, you, the orchestra is your instrument. The film is as much about the world at large as it is about the classical music world. I think it's like so much more scope to talk about so much more because the gender is split. You can talk about power structures in a way that people are much more open to receiving the, the nuance of the film because it's not the same old, same old male situation. She wants to be beyond that. She wants to feel like that doesn't matter anymore. I relished the whole process. The journey was really incredible. Honnendo Academy Show, Rock Bumon Nominato. If you're here, then you already know who she is. In 2013, Berlin elected Tarr as its principal conductor, and she's remained there ever since. Lydia Tarr is one of the most important musical figures of our time. Thank you for joining us, Maestro. Thank you. You want to dance the mass? You must service the composer. How's the writing going? Not so well. I keep hearing something. Do we have a problem? I received another weird email. There's no reason to get caught up in any intrigue. I'm worried. She's starting to disappear into herself. <laughs> Hold up! 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 Hold up!